Time now for Ask the Expert. Can't afford the fancy college or college your child dreams of? Well, when that happens in the new movie, The House, the parents start a casino in their basement, complete with gambling, a strip club, and an MMA fighting. You don't have enough money. Okay, right here. It says right here in this, this account we have $401,000. Jackpot. You missed it. No, nope. uh, that says you have a 401k account. Ouch. Yeah. Well, financial <laughs> professional here with us, Brad Allen with Wis WealthWisconsin.com. Joining us to explain the options parents can find themselves in so that they really don't have to deal with that situation of where do I find the money? It's a scary thing. A lot of parents are trying to figure out how are we going to pay for this or how are we going to help pay for it? You know, and 60% of students today are, are taking out student loans mm -hmm. and they're coming out of college with, with an average debt of $28,400. That's a lot of debt coming out trying mm -hmm. to find that first job or whatever you're looking for. Right, sure. so they found a way to laugh at it. Others will cringe right. when they look at the, the price tag. So right. how do we get started? Well, we came up with five different things today to talk about. So the right. first okay. one is getting started early. That's the biggest key. How is early? As soon as Day your child is born. <laughs> right, exactly. And there's, a, there's a, a rule of thumb that you should put $250 away per month if you're you're trying to have your child go to an in-state school. All right, just right okay, there, though. Stop. Come mm -hmm. on, you know. That's hard for a lot of folks. It's I mean, really you're supposed hard. to be putting in for your 401. You're supposed to right. have, you know, six You got months. diapers. You know, right. it's really it hard. It is really hard. And, and they say if you're thinking of a private school, $500 a month. Right. So how do you right. do that? So it's it's the most you can. Just just actively start putting money away for yeah. that. But, mm -hmm. you know, as much as you can, it's going to help in the long run. All right, that's... What's the next rule? Next one is which vehicle do I use? A lot of hmm. parents are just putting money in a savings account. Mm -hmm. oh, with okay. interest rates being so low right now, yeah. it's, it's not growing with inflation. So you really want to look at something like a, a, a 520 plan. Yeah, those are good. Mm-hmm. 529. So you're putting the money in there. It's specifically for college. It's a college right. savings plan and it grows tax deferred yep. and it comes out tax free yep. um, for federal. So, uh, you know, it's a nice plan. The, the only caveat to that plan is you have to use it for yes, college. You do. If oh, you sure. use it for anything else, yep. it's penalized. And, I mean, tuition only, not right. room and board. Right. Yep. All right. So then the third. You want to uh, look at your options. There's a lot of options for college. It doesn't have to be a big name school. It could be an in-state school, um, you know, maybe be a community college for the first two years mm -hmm. and, and save on costs that way. So right. there's a lot of options out there. You just kind of want to weigh those options and see what's best for My you. My son reminds me how I, he saved me $120,000 by going to Wisconsin versus a private sure. school. Sure, yeah, But it's I think true. a lot of people, there used to be a stigma to going to community college for two years and then making the transfer into that college of choice, but now it's really more economic. You see a lot of people doing it because you can, you can take the same classes mm -hmm. those first two years General and then studies. it transfers over. And and a lot of these community colleges are very close to home, so the kids can live at home. It may not be good for the parents' grocery budget, but it's good for the room and board, and it adds up over time. And you easy transfers, too. Right. You say get creative. How? Get creative. Uh, there's different grants and scholarships out there, and you don't need to be a straight-A student to get some of these. I mean, if you're involved in band or student council or volunteering, there's different things you can do. So just check into it. Do some research. See what's out there. And if you can get it, why not try it? There's a lot of interesting ones out there. Scholarships. Yeah. Like oh, if yeah. you write left-handed, there's a left-handed. Well, <laughs> that's the other thing. It's like parents, you start early with your kids. Yep. You're getting a scholarship. Let's, yep. let's right. get to the books. Yep. Let's get right. to the talent. Yep. So thank you. Yeah. All right. Do we got one more prize? Prioritize. Prioritize retirement. This yeah. is a big one. A lot of people come in the office and they say, you know, we, we haven't prioritized retirement because we were putting so much money in the college savings accounts. Mm -hmm. um, but you really want to put that 10 to 15 percent away every single month from from your salary into right. the 401k or IRA. Yeah. And the old saying is you can you can take a loan out for college. You can't for retirement. That's so. Yeah. There's always the hope that your kid is really smart or has a really good talent, right? And they'll get in with a scholarship. There you go. <laughs> All right, thanks. Got a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can leave a voicemail. We have the number right there for you.